Welcome to my unboxing and initial impression. Plus I'm gonna do the setup and sound test. Uh, this is the Logitech Z313. Now, first thing it says it's a 50 watt system. Uh, it's kind of misleading. It's really, as far as speaker power goes, it's really 25. Uh, I think 10 on the two satellites, I guess that's what you'd call them, and 15 watts from a subwoofer. So, you know, I always have to play with numbers with these things. Probably if there's, it probably is 50 watts in total as far as, you know, the amp and stuff that's concerned. But uh, yeah, here's a little instruction thing. Some more instructions. Yeah, okay, I'll get into the hookup in a bit. Let's just get it out of here. Alright. So here's the, uh, here's the sub. It feels like it has a little bit of weight to it. They probably put some lead in there. Get it out. So you know, it's uh, reasonably attractive, I suppose. Uh, I wish one thing I noticed right away is that the legs. I should have put rubber on the bottom of the legs. Um, that would have been helpful, I think. You know, it's not a super expensive speaker. You can get this on sale. Um, that's I would buy it on sale. I wouldn't pay full price for it. And here are the two little satellite speakers. I did want something small and compact for what I'm going to use this for. So, and they give you plenty of cord. And basically, the two satellite speakers. They will plug in to the back of, no, wait a second. Oh yeah, that's the speaker I'll put there, perfect. So these guys, comes with a cord, satellites plug into the back of this speaker. The volume controls are located on little control unit here. Oops. Get that open. I'm fight with this thing. Okay, yeah, and here's the control unit. And just one thing that I was concerned about, because it doesn't say on the box, but it's integrated into the controller. Uh, this would be the uh, connector that goes into your sound card on the back of your computer or you know any other device that has this uh, style of plug. I believe it's a 3.5 millimeter. Very common. Uh, so you should be able to use this on almost anything that you can plug it into. You know. Okay, so I have it all out of the box. My initial impression is, I mean, it's pretty standard. Uh, nothing super fancy. Just wanted something small and compact for what I'm going to use it for. I'll do a sound test once I get it hooked up and I'll just give you my impressions on that. It doesn't really make sense to have you listen to the sound uh, in, the, in a recording, but I'll give you my impression. I, I have a lot of experience with speakers and the sound quality, so you have to take my word for it. Anyways, let's just go through uh, a few of the little features. Now, again, it says it's a 50 watt system, but it's really only 25. Uh, as far as the speaker output power is, uh, each of these speakers, 10 watts and the subwoofer is 15. So however they get to the 50, I'm not sure. Must just be the total system power. Uh, this, the satellite speakers, uh, it looks like there's a, a fair, fair amount of cord. Shouldn't be an issue. These satellite speakers just simply plug into the back of uh, the unit here, into the subwoofer. And of course, the subwoofer, you plug that into the wall. So the subwoofer is kind of like the, the power part. Everything gets plugged into there. Uh, it has a 
for the volume controls, it's on this little uh, pad here, and plus the on-off power, and the volume's on the side there. And one thing I was concerned, I was, it didn't really say in the manual at first, or on the description on the box, if it came with the 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can plug it into your device, whether it be your phone or computer or whatever. But yeah, it's there, it's attached to this, so uh, all's good now. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this set up. It's very simple to connect, so I don't think you really need to see that. You just find the, the jack output or on your, uh, you know, your phone or your PC. Nowadays, they're all color-coded on PCs. It, just look for the, the green uh, plug-in on the back of your computer. Okay, I'm gonna go get it hooked up and do a little bit of sound checks and give you my impressions. Oh, um, so basically it comes with a two-year warranty. Um, the frequency response is 48 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Uh, on the, on the internet it says the total power is 25 watts, although it says 50 on the box. Whatever. And that's pretty much all there is to it, so... Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes with my thoughts on this. Oh, just one special note. Um, just sort of an afterthought that I came across. So on the subwoofer, I'm going to turn it upside down here. They have the speaker located on the bottom, so be aware of that when you're, especially when if you're picking it up or pulling it out of the box. Uh, you know, don't jam your fingers into the speaker. So yeah, be careful where you're sitting it and uh, or the placement. Uh, have it on a nice flat surface. So just something to be aware of, because you know I grabbed it from the bottom and probably almost put my finger through the speaker. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, I have the speakers all hooked up. I did some testing and, you know, I, I think for the price that I paid, they seem to be uh, pretty reasonable. Uh, they do have a little bit of power to them, but I mean, you probably can't have a huge dance party with it. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, no, no big complaints for the price. Seems very reasonable. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Take care. Have a great night.